Hey, Todd. Hey, Todd. Hello. This is Todd Bellow. How are you? I'm Good. from Overcoming Psoriasis. I have a support group, and uh, I've been doing this for like 25 years. I have psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. Okay. And uh, I know uh, we have Dr. Katha with us. Dr. Kathy, can you just quickly explain what psoriasis is for our, our listeners? Sure. Psoriasis is a chronic skin disorder that affects between 2 and 3% of the U.S. population, so about 7.5 million people in this country. Um, it usually presents because there are faulty immune signals in the body, and what you see clinically with your eyes is you've got lesions on traumatic areas like your elbows, knees, sacrum, and your scalp, and they can be elevated, sometimes they're red, and sometimes they're covered with a silvery scale. And about 30% of people have psoriatic arthritis. Symptom-wise, um, you can have itching, you can have pain, and it can be isolating for many people. Terrific. What are the comorbidities of, of psoriasis? There, I know it has uh, many uh, other ailments. That sure. Are the number one comorbidity people are very interested in is actually psoriatic arthritis. And so, um, but you know, there are other comorbidities that run with psoriasis, like metabolic syndrome, hypertension, cardiac disease. Um, so, but the, the one I'm interested in, in from a dermatology standpoint is usually psoriatic arthritis. That's terrific. So, uh, what would, advice would you give to like a uh, newly diagnosed psoriasis patient? Um, what medical uh, type of advice would you give them? So I think from a medical standpoint, it's important to know you can't change your genetics. So there's a 30% chance that people have psoriasis because there's some genetic linkage. The rest of people out there need to control what they can. So um, you know, limiting tobacco, alcohol, and being your ideal body weight would be helpful. And then oftentimes you need a medical intervention. So you need to find a dermatologist who's interested in your disease state that you can communicate and be honest with. And and tell them how the disease bothers you and try to come up with a therapy that resonates with you and that you find acceptable. And there's so many different therapies on the market. That showmoreofyou.com website will have things about the disease and the therapies. And so um, there are therapies out there that are um, helping people on a daily basis. Great. And uh, the showmoreofyou.com, uh, uh, I guess, hashtag, would that... What is that, a mission? What is that exactly? So the showmoreofyou.com is actually a website where people can post their pictures, some mm -hmm. inspirational comments, and mm -hmm. this is actually led by Celgene, which is the, ma they are the makers of Otazlo, which is one of the newer pills for psoriasis that, that is for moderate, severe plaque psoriasis, and uh, that does not actually require routine blood monitoring. So, and that's actually, um, where she's come in because she's um, actually told a lot of people about her story, how she's dealt with it, and having somebody so important in the community that's right. actually opening themselves up. I think I'm really hopeful that patients will know um, that this is something that they can live with and that there are therapies, and, and certainly you are right. living proof. Well, thank that you. Right. <laughs> right. And, and I'll get to Dara in one second. Mm -hmm. However, uh, Dr. Cather, uh, it's amazing that this medication doesn't require any uh, blood work uh, before you go on it. So you consider it safe and effective? Okay, so the medication I think you're talking about is Otesla or a Primalast made by Celgene. I was the yes. high enroller in this country, so right. we did not see any lab abnormalities um, during the clinical trials. So, okay. um, so I think that, you know, it's like everything. You have to be, you know, adult patient, moderate, severe plaque psoriasis, a candidate for a systemic therapy. And then I really think you have to have an open dialogue with your dermatologist and, and see what your thoughts are. Right. It's so important because especially with a Tesla and, and medication, so many people are afraid of the side effects. Mm -hmm. And not only that, when, when we're talking about psoriasis and psoriatic psoriasis, we, we tend to isolate ourselves, go into depression. Mm -hmm. We don't know who to turn to right. or who to trust. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, with that said, thank you so much, Dr. Cather, and I uh, appreciate uh, you interviewing with me. And uh, what I'm really excited about today is uh, this is uh, unlike uh, this is the most uh, uh, experienced or I would say gold medalist from the Olympics. I mean, welcome back from Rio, Dara Torres. How are you? I'm good. I'm tired, but I'm good. I had a great time over there. Yeah, I see you brought your daughter with you, too, and you hired a bodyguard. I, I did. <laughs> I uh, I was a little nervous going in there because, you know, the press makes so many stories up or, or exaggerate what the stories actually are. So I didn't know what to expect. I think uh, my daughter's dad would feel better if I had someone sort of watching out for us. So we did have someone over. Looking back, we probably didn't need him, but it was just sort of a peace of mind type thing. But I had a great time. My daughter marched in opening ceremonies. I got to watch, like, at poolside, the 
best sporting event ever at the Olympic Games, which I'm biased as a swimming. Um, and uh, it, it was great. I mean, the, the athletes did tremendously well. They dominated, and it was just a lot of fun to watch. Great. Let me recap. Uh, Dara, you have uh, 12 medals, uh, four golds, four silvers, and four bronze. Uh, amazing. You're a New York bestseller. You have two books, uh, one of which is uh, Welcome to the Club. No, no. Sorry. That's, <laughs> that's, that's not me. That's what you said to Michael <laughs> Phelps. Age is just a number, right. and gold medal fitness, which are two bestsellers, and uh, gold medal fitness is like a five-week program, which uh, I'm going to read, obviously. Good. I'm going to get into the best shape of my life. And I, I heard you met Michael Phelps over there, and you said you had four words to say to him. Oh, actually, this was at, at, at Olympic Trials. I said, welcome to the club uh, of being a, a five-time Olympian. But I did get to interview him after his race and after his last race. And uh, he did say that he was done. But I don't know. I still have this feeling inside that he's going to keep swimming. Yeah, I, I think you're right. And, and uh, you know, I love what you say, and uh, that your business suit is your birth, I mean, your baby suit. And uh, that, I mean, with psoriasis, and I can't even imagine what you experienced over the years, uh, going into the pool with the chlorine and everything. Can you explain a little bit about that? Well, I first was diagnosed a couple of decades ago when I had red uh, flaky patches on my elbows and back and sort of let it go for a month and then it got really irritable. Obviously, being in the chlorine didn't help. Uh, so I went to my dermatologist and he diagnosed me with psoriasis. And uh, I think the biggest misconception that people think is if you have something on your skin, if you touch you, you're going to get you're going to get it. It gets contagious. Or if you dive in the pool, you're going to get it with the water. Well, that wasn't the case. And uh, for me, over the years, I realized that mine flares up uh, when I'm stressed. So it's not necessarily the training aspect. It's when I get closer to swim meets is when I get a little bit more stressed out and when it starts to flare up. And now that I'm not even training, the everyday stresses of, of work and travel and kids, uh, I see it flare up some. So what I try to do is I try to go exercise or do something where I can de-stress. Yeah, and I notice uh, you're from California, so you must get a lot of sun. So that's probably part of your regimen also. But uh, I heard... Uh, um, Obviously, you're part of this campaign called, um, I'm sorry, Show Me, Show More of You. Yes. And uh, what is your mission exactly? My mission is to get people to understand that you can still get your accomplishments, you can still go for your goals, even though you're living with psoriasis. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's what this website's all about. I mean, Dr. Cather touched on it, but uh, I've uploaded some pictures of myself uh, that mm -hmm. show more of me. I have an inspirational message on there. Others have done that. We want people to go to this website to, to learn more about psoriasis, to celebrate accomplishments that people living with psoriasis, you know, achieve every day. And, and that's what we're really trying to do uh, with this website and this, this campaign is it's okay to be who you are. It's okay that you have psoriasis. Be proud of yourself. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I have a minute left, and uh, I want to ask you so many more questions, uh, but we're, <laughs> we're short of time. So uh, I personally want to thank you for coming out, and I know the psoriasis community appreciates what you're doing for us. And, uh, you know, 7.5 million Americans, 125 million globally that suffer from this disease. We isolate ourselves. We hide ourselves. You know, this is something that we need. Uh, terrific uh, medicines like Otesla, and uh, I want to thank Celgene for setting this up in this interview with, with you know, obviously uh, somebody like yourself uh, who, who uh, also speaks for other charities, such like heart disease, too. You do that also, right, Dara? Uh, yeah, well, for cancer stuff, but I just want to personally thank you. I know Dr. Cather probably feels the same way for getting this message out there and supporting us. Terrific, and that's all the time that we have for today, and uh, Thank you so much. I'll, I'll be posting this on my site, Overcoming Psoriasis, and uh, hopefully I'll get to meet you one day. And uh, thank you so much, both Dr. Cathra and, and uh, Dara Torres. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye.